know about ribs? Do they sweep down or up? They sweep down, right? The angle of them, and they come in, uh, and they wrap around to the sternum. You can palpate ribs, and you can feel how they slope. And you can see, I mean, that is nearly a 45 degree angle that a rib will slope downward. It's the same rib, I promise. So what does that mean? That means if I wanted to touch that rib, I would have to be on that same angle. But how do I know which rib is the one that I want to assess? You know, there's the rule of threes through the thoracic spine. You can try to get it all specific, but from a provocation situation, uh, I'm going to be able to find this rib pretty easily if I'm dealing with a rib. All right? How am I going to do that? I'm going to have you bring your arm up like so. Does that hurt you in this position? It says no. All right? No, right? Can you scoot over to the right a little bit more? All right, I'm going to get up on the table here, and I'm going to get in on this rib. Why don't you guys take a look at what, what I'm talking about. I'm actually scanning my hand, and I'm finding a rib. And in fact, I can probably start just springing them. Because where it's going to hurt the most is at in the back, all right, when they're hot. Do I still want to push on that back when it calms down, it's more stable? Absolutely, but I need an outcome now. When he side, when he his trunk moves like this, it hurts. So what do I want to do? I want to go for my outcome. I want to at least get the ball rolling. I don't want to be a hero and try to push right on that costa transverse joint and hurt him more. All right, because ribs can be very irritable. So what do I want to do? I want to do a little more of an indirect. So I'm going to find my rib. So he tells me, oh, that's the one. And literally, you'll go one below and you'll say, no. Ah, ah. All right. So then I'll just hold that, as simple as that looks, and I'll say, take a deep breath in and out. And when he exhales, I just follow him. It's as simple as that. Y'all have tried that somewhere along the way of following or chasing a movement through exhalation. I highly encourage you to try it. In this scenario, why would I call this accessory? Because I'm specific. Am I making a contribution to the costa transverse joint? Yeah. But look how far away I am from it. I can still make an influence if that rib is hot. All right? Now, if they were active and they said, ah, do you think that I want to go maybe try this treatment and have them exhale a couple times and retry it? All right? That's how we know. Did a change occur by imparting this input into the system? Okay? that was not painful, non-threatening, he's relaxing, and I have a means to reassess and see if that made a meaningful change. Okay? So I want you guys to try this one. If you want to make it more, obviously you can put him and you can bind things up a little bit more, but being able to try to practice with the breath and chase it down. When will you transition to costo transverse? Well, this probably shouldn't hurt. All right, I'm going to go directly over the joint and start pressing on it. Maybe setting up a different technique, which we won't do today, but at least I wanted to show you in application for an irritable rib. All right? Let's try that, guys.